Today we're gonna be eating some fire noodles, AKA spicy Korean noodles, and some black bean noodles with just egg. This is all vegan friendly. Let's dig in. All right guys, we're gonna dig in first and then I'll talk. You know what, let's go in with the black bean noodles. Ooh. I haven't had these in so long. Cheers. So this is from a brand called Jatjaroni, which is this Korean brand. And it's vegan friendly where I live, okay? Let's have a bite and then I'll do an intro. <laughs> Pickled radish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, why are these noodles so good? This is the food of my childhood. Mm. All right, now the spicy noodles. Ooh, I'm scared of this. Honestly, normally I add less of the sauce. This is the blue duck fire noodles. It's just the regular, like the original. I have no idea how people eat the two times noodles and like enjoy themselves because this already is too spicy for me. Mmm, mm, but is it ever delicious? All right, now that I've had a bite of each, hi guys, <laughs> it's Rose, and welcome back to Cheat Lazy Vegan and another mukbang. Today you're watching another episode of Munching Mondays, which is my mukbang series. Mukbang is an eating show, so we're gonna eat together as we've been doing, and we're gonna chat. So if that's your thing, then subscribe to this channel and thumbs up this video, and already my mouth is on fire. Now I wanted to actually first try the black bean noodles with some just egg, mm-hmm, okay? Because Koreans eat black bean noodles with egg, and I'm like, listen, I could do it. I'm vegan, but I can do it. So I'm gonna try this with the just egg. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Good. I put some call in the mac on the just egg to make it even more eggy. Very nice. Now, I also wanted to mix together the black bean noodles with the fire noodles and see how that goes, okay? Next time, maybe I'll mix, like I'll actually mix the sauces together, but today I'm just gonna mix together the two different noodles. I, th I don't know if I've tried this concoction, okay? But this is something people do, okay? Noodle party. By the way, I'm filming a um, what am I filming? <laughs> I'm filming a video eating instant noodles for 24 hours. So that's why I'm eating like a lot of instant noodles today. Now, this is a mixture of spicy noodles and black bean noodles. Mmm. 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 I do feel like the spicy noodles are stronger in flavor, so I notice more of the spicy noodle flavor. But a hint of that black bean flavor does come through. Mm. But I think I actually prefer eating them separately. Woo! Right. All right, first of all, I'm gonna have some Diet Coke. I don't know if that helps. I also have some almond milk, just in case. It's starting to get a bit spicy, but it's not as bad as I remember. Maybe because I'm eating multiple things, one of which is not spicy. Anyways, huh. 
All right. More black bean noodle. Mm. 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 I think I like the taste of them better separately. Mm -hmm. I do feel like separately is better. I'm gonna do a little video from my phone because, you know, nowadays I gotta post on multiple platforms. So just watch me film myself on my phone. So I was watching these Korean mukbangs, right? And I'm always trying to figure out how they film because it's so advanced and they've got, I swear to God, like four cameras, okay? Are they actually filming with four cameras? I have no idea, but some of the production I've seen, I'm like, how'd you do it? Ooh, guys, it's getting spicy. Like some of these green mukbangers, they have like one camera like this and then like 15 different angles, I swear to God. First of all, I just have no patience. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys want like more angles? What do you think? Coming to me, guys. Mm. Mm. I've actually done, if you don't know, a few years ago, actually many years ago now, I've actually done spicy noodle challenges. So you can go watch that. I actually tried eating the two times more spicy Fire noodles. Oh. Mm. And like, I just don't get it. Cause like, I love spicy food, but when it's too spicy, you can't enjoy it. Like these noodles, I can still somewhat enjoy, even if I'm like dying. <laughs> but the two times spicy, I don't think I can actually even enjoy it. Mm. <sighs> the thing is, I don't have the highest spice tolerance, but I can eat pretty spicy food. I'm Korean, you know? I would say I have like, you know, normal Korean level spice tolerance, but fire noodles, whoo. They're a different level, whoo. Okay, I'm gonna finish this one. The fire noodles are so spicy. I can't taste these anymore.
think I'm okay. <laughs> Woo! Oh. It's a slow burn. That stuff, whew. You guys, can you die of spice? I've always wondered this. I watch people like torturing themselves. No, you can die of spice. I saw a guy that, someone that died after doing the spicy chip challenge. You gotta be careful with spicy food, my friends. Okay? Anyway. Woo! Oh. That wasn't even supposed to be like a spicy noodle challenge, but it feels like a spicy noodle challenge. I forgot how spicy that is because I, again, I used to put like less of the, the sauce. Oh, anyway, you guys, there's the video. <laughs> Woo, I'm dying. This was a very quick mukbang. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, guys. If you want to watch my video eating only instant noodles for 24 hours, check out the link below. My mouth is watering. I can't speak for longer than two seconds. <laughs> And if you guys want to come with me on a trip to Greece, Turkey, or Bali, or all of the above, check out the links below to book a trip with me. I'm hosting a group vegan food tour in all of those places. Turkey and Greece are happening in September. Those are two separate trips, but you can do both if you want. There's only one spot left for the Greece trip, so it might be sold out by the time I post this video. <sighs> but if it's not, book your spot. And Turkey, I am so excited for Turkey. I've never been to Turkey, so that's gonna be happening before Greece. So you could do both because they're happening back to back. And Bali is happening in October. Again, it's a vegan food tour. Bali is vegan heaven. It's so much fun. I did this trip last year and we made it even better this year. We're doing the monkey forest, a Balinese cooking class. We're doing all kinds of cultural activities. We're eating tons of vegan food and just hanging out. It's gonna be so fun, you guys. Check out the links below for the trips and the information and to book now. And guys, I'm dying. So I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna link my mukbang playlist below as well. So check out my previous mukbang videos and thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.